welcome to this week's equipment class. For today's class, you're just going to need a mat, a headrest, and then two light weights, a circular band, either a circle or a cushion, and then a foam roller or a small ball just for some of the bridges. Uh, so we'll get started off with the warm up. We'll start off on our hands and knees. So knees directly under your hips, hands directly under your shoulders. Dropping the ribcage down, arch in the back, looking up in front. And then rounding out the spine all the way, looking down between the knees. Dropping the ribcage down, arch at the back, looking up in front. And rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees. Again, dropping the ribcage down, arch in the back, looking up in front. And once more, rounding out the spine, looking down between the knees. And then coming to a neutral flat back position, tucking the belly button back towards your spine. We're going to straighten out the right leg and the left arm and lower, left leg, right arm. Keep the back nice and flat and lower, right leg, left arm and left leg, right arm. Good, right leg, left arm. Holding this position and then small circles with the arm and leg. Try to keep the body as still as possible. And lower down, left leg, right arm. Small circles with the arm and leg. And lower down. Then we're gonna shift all the way over to the left side, straighten out the right leg and the right arm. Once you have your balance, once the hips are parallel to the mat, small circles with the arm and leg. and lower down, shifting the weight to the right side, straighten out the left leg and the left arm. Again, once you have your balance here, small circles, otherwise just focus on getting your balance. And lower down. Dig the toes underneath, pinch the shoulders back, lift the knees up a few inches. Then we're gonna lift up the right hand and the left hand. Right hand, left, right, left, one more on the right, one more on the left and lower down. Again, digging those toes underneath, pinching the shoulders back, lift the knees up, lift up the right foot and the left foot. Right, left, right, left, right, left. One more on the right, one more on the left, lower down. Then we're gonna come down onto our knees here and our forearms and we're gonna straighten out the right leg behind in a nice long line. We're gonna do small lifts straight up, squeezing the glutes on the right side as you lift up. Shoulders are away from the ears, keep the neck nice and long. Make sure you're not getting kind of sucked up here like this. So shoulders pinched back. Good, we have 10 more. Just small pulses straight up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switching, lower the right leg. Left leg straight up, nice long line. So imagine your toes are reaching away from your head. Imagine there's a string pulling your head one way and another string pulling your toes the opposite way. Good, we have 10 more, just nice small movement here. Good for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the knee down. Bring the knees up nice and wide, sitting back into the heels into child's pose. Just stretching out the shoulders, finding whatever area feels stiff, kind of focusing in on that spot. We could just move from left to right, stretching out each side. Then we'll walk the hands over to the left and lean your body to the right. Just stretching out the right side of the body, getting a nice stretch down through the rib cage. And then walking those hands over to the right side, leaning your body to the left, getting a nice stretch down the left side. And then we'll come onto our backs. And then we will grab the resistance band. Bring the feet through the band, bring it up just to above the knees, just there. And then we'll start off just by imprinting the spine, bring the knees apart nice and wide, and control as they come back together. Apart and together. Keeping the 
spine and printed. Hips are still. Good. For three, two, and one. Back together, right knee only, and back, left knee only. Good, so make sure the opposite leg is completely still as the other moves out to the side. Shoulders are relaxed. You can place your hands on your hips just to make sure that the other leg isn't moving. Good, one more on each side. And then we'll imprint the spine, legs to tabletop. Create tension in the band and then relax. So legs apart and back together. Apart together. Shoulders are relaxed. Four, three, two, one. Imprint the spine. Keep tension in the band. Tap both feet down and back in the tabletop. So just a gentle toe tap here. Keeping tension in the band. Spine is imprinted. If you feel your low back lifting with this, just go halfway and then come back up. But if you're able to tap all the way down, try to tap even further if you are able. Good, we have three more, two, and one. Resting the feet down. Then we'll grab the roller or ball, or if you don't have either, just keep the feet down on the mat. Keeping tension in the band, arms down by the sides, imprint, lifting the hips up, and lower down. Imprint and lift, and lower, imprint and lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Good for three, two, and one. And then we'll bring the elbows on the mat, hands on the rib cage. Imprint the spine, lifting the hips up, keeping tension the whole time in the band. Imprint and lift, and lower. Good, we have three more. Two, last one, keep the hips up, bring the knees apart together, apart together. Three, four, five, six, Seven, keep the hips up nice and high. Nine, ten, and lower down. Next up, crossing the arms across the chest. Shoulders are relaxed. Imprinting the spine, lifting the hips up, and lower down. Imprint and lift, and lower. Imprint and lift, and lower. Good, lift, and lower. Four more. Three, two, and one more. Keep the hips up. Bring the right knee out to the side and then the left knee. Right knee, left, right, left. Keep the hips up nice and high. Keep squeezing the glutes. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Last one on the right, last one on the left. Keep the hips up, knees apart and back together. Apart, together, apart, together. Good, keep the hips up nice and high. Keep squeezing the glutes. Hopefully you're starting to feel the burn here. Five, four, three, two, one. And lower down. Perfect. And then we'll put the left foot on the roller or ball. Or if you want to make it easier, just keep the foot down on the mat. We'll straighten up the right leg. A bit of tension in the band. So the leg should be equal here. Make sure one leg isn't dropping down or popping up like this. So they should be parallel to each other. So creating tension, you could bring the arms down by your side if you want to make it easier or elbows on the mat if you want to make it a bit harder. Keeping tension, imprint the spine, lift the hips up and lower. Imprint and lift and lower. Imprint and lift and lower. Good, keeping tension. And lower, imprint and lift. And lower, we have four more. Three, two, and one more. And lower, good, switching sides. Straightening up the left leg. Right foot on the mat or roller, whichever you have. Left leg straight up, bit of tension, elbows on the mat. Imprint the spine, lift the hips up. 
and lower. In front and lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Keeping tension, keeping those legs parallel. Make sure the hips are parallel to the mat. Don't let that left hip drop down. Good, we have three more. Two, and last one. And lower down. Good. Switching over again, last one here on the roller for now. Left foot again on the roller. Right leg up, choosing your hand position, whichever difficulty you prefer. Straighten up the right leg, imprint the spine, lift the hips up, right leg out to the side, together, out to the side, together, for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bend the right leg, rest the hips down, straighten up the left leg now, bit of tension, we're going to do the same thing on the left, imprinting the spine. Lifting the hips up, hips up nice and high, left leg out to the side, together for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Press the hips down. We'll put the rollers out of the way for now. Keep the band around the knees just for the next few. So next we're going to imprint the spine. Bring the legs in the tabletop, bring the band down around the ankles, keeping the shins parallel, spine is imprinted, pull the legs apart and back together, apart, together, apart, together, good, shoulders are relaxed, five, four, three, two, one, keep the spine imprinted, tap both feet down and back up. Down and up, keeping tension. Again, same as the other one when the band was above the knees. You can tap halfway if your back is lifting, or if it's not lifting, try to go a little further as long as your spine stays imprinted. Good, we have three more. Two and one. Rest the feet down. Good, only a few more here with the resistance band. Imprint, legs in the tabletop, straighten the legs up, twist the feet out slightly, pull the legs apart nice and wide and back together for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep tension in the band, lower the legs a few inches and lift them back up. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Good, the lower you go here, the harder it is but just keeping that spine imprinted. You can even tuck the chin to the chest, rolling forward if you want to make this a little bit harder, bringing the upper abdominals a bit. We have three more, two, and one. Good. We'll take the band off, put the band to the side, and I'll give you a quick rest before we move on to the circle, or if you have a cushion, whichever you prefer. And then we'll grab your circle or cushion, bring it just between the knees. So make sure if you have a big cushion that you're putting it this way so that you can squeeze it rather than putting it the thinner way. Just so you have more resistance. Imprint the spine and then squeeze the circle nice and tight and relax. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, keep the circle squeezed, right leg out to the side, back in, left leg out to the side, back in. Good, alternating each side. Again, keeping the hips as still as possible, similar with this, the resistance band. You're really stabilizing your pelvis here, using the core to stabilize so that you're not rolling side to side. For four, three, two, and one. Then we'll grab the circle, give the legs a quick rest, and then we'll imprint, bring the legs to the tabletop, circle goes above the knees, squeeze the circle nice and tight, and relax. Squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax for three, four, five, 
Keeping the shins parallel, make sure the feet aren't flailing out to the side like this. So keep the feet tucked in. Two and one. Keep the circle squeeze. Slowly relax over three, two, one. Squeeze. Slowly relax. Two, one. And a quick squeeze. And a slow relax. Two, one. Squeeze. Three, 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 two, one, squeeze. Good. Two more. Two, one, squeeze. Last one. Two, one, squeeze. And grab the circle. Good. And then circle goes back above the knees. If you have a light weight, we're going to grab a weight in each hand and just hold it just directly above the shoulders here. We're going to squeeze the circle nice and tight, imprinted lifting up. Lower down with control. Good. Imprint. Lift. And lower. So keep pinching the shoulders back. Just activating those postural muscles. Imprint and lift. And lower. Imprint and lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Good. Keep that circle squeezed. Two more. Last one, keep the hips up, bring the knees apart together, apart together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep the circle squeeze, bring the right arm out to the side, back in, left arm out to the side, and in. Good, keep the hips up nice and high. Just doing a chest fly here with the weight. Good, working on the pecs and the front of the chest. Good, left arm, keep the hips up, don't let them drop. Right arm, left arm, one more on the right, one more on the left, and lower down, put the weights to the side, grab the circle, give your legs a quick rest, and we'll do a few more with the circle. Imprint the spine, legs in the tabletop, We'll bring the circle down between the ankles now. Squeeze the circle nice and tight and relax. Squeeze and relax for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Straighten the legs up. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep the circle squeezed. Lower the legs down. Lift them back up. Lower. And lift. Nice smooth movements here. Keeping the spine imprinted. Just moving the legs a few inches up and down. If you want to make it harder, you could lower them further down. Again, just keeping that spine imprinted. Good. We have three more. Two. And one. Grab the circle. Rest the legs down. Imprint the spine, legs in the tabletop, circle just above the knees. Squeeze the circle nice and tight, arms down by your side, squeeze the circle. And then we're going to tuck the chin to the chest, rolling forward. Start to beat the arms, we're in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two. Four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Keep the circle squeeze nice and tight. Out, two, three, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Last one. Out, two, three, four, five. Rest the legs down. Straighten the legs out. And then grab your circle or your cushion between your hands. Squeeze the legs together. Reach the arms back. Gently squeeze the circle or cushion. Shoulders are pulled back. Arms forward, chin to chest, rolling up, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders are pinched. And then slowly curl the low back as you roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae, reaching back and rolling up, sitting up nice and tall. And then slowly rolling down, rolling up. 
Try not to let the legs lift as you roll up. If you need to, just doing a modified roll up, so coming down halfway and then sitting up tall. So whichever you can do here. And rolling up. Good, and then if you want to make it harder, reaching up. And slowly rolling down. Good, try to keep the arms back as you roll down. Don't let them come in front if you're holding them up. Good, we have three more. Good. Two. And then the last one. Stay sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna put the circle to the side. We're gonna bring the hands behind you, squeeze the feet together. You can bring the fingers pointing in this way if you prefer, or out like this. Squeeze the legs together, lift the hips up nice and high, and lower back down. We're gonna do two more of those. So pinch the shoulders back, lift the hips up, and lower. And then the last one, pinch the shoulders back, lift the hips up, lift up the right leg, and left, right, left, one more on the right, one more on the left, and lower down. Bend the right knee in towards your, is in towards your hip, and then we're gonna bring the left arm, wrap it around that right leg, right arm goes at the base of the spine, sit up nice and tall, looking over the right shoulder. So just doing a spinal twist, getting a nice stretch. So use that right arm to kind of prop yourself up rather than sinking into the shoulder. And then straighten out that right leg, bending that left knee, reaching around with the right arm, using that left arm to prop yourself up, twisting from the base of the spine, looking over your left shoulder. Getting a nice stretch. And then back to the center. And then we'll come to lie on our stomachs, and we'll just do a few exercises for the low back here. And if you want to make it harder, put some weights down by your side here. Otherwise, no need to use any weights. So we're just going to start off by lifting both legs up and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. For five, four, three, two. Keep the legs up, twist the toes out, and then so the heels are touching. And then we're going to do heel knock. So heels in and out. Tapping the heels in together, keeping the legs lifted up, keeping the legs straight for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Press the hips into the mat, lift the upper body up, and lower. Lift and lower. Keep the forehead resting on your hands for five, four, three, two and one lower down then we're going to bring the hands down by your side grab a weight in each hand if you want to make it harder press the hips into the mat lift the upper body up twist the thumbs back pinch the shoulders together and lower lifting up twist and pinch and lower down good for four Three, two, one. Hold the upper body up. Small flutter kicks with the legs. Keep pinching your shoulders back. Keep the chest lifted. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, put the weights to the side. Next one is a little bit different. So it's more for shoulder mobility. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the hips pressed into the mat and the legs are pressed in. We're going to lift the arms up so that the elbows are bent at 90 degrees and the arms are at shoulder level. You're going to keep the arms lifted. You're going to reach up, touch the hands together, and lower back down. So we're reaching up, hands touch, and lower. So the hands should be lifted the whole time. Try not to let the hands or the elbows touch the mat as you lift up above your head. So this is really good for back strengthening. 
and also to help bring the shoulders into a better position so that you're not rounded when you're sitting at a desk or standing. Good, we have four more. If you're not able to lift the hands up, just go up as high as you can and then back down. Good, two more. And last one. And lower back down. We'll bring the hands just under the shoulder blades. Squeeze the legs together. Peel the upper body up off the mat. So either coming into mini cobra or full cobra, whichever you prefer. And lower back down. We'll do one more here. And then a quick child's pose just before doing some side lying exercises. And then we'll come onto our right side. So we'll start off on the elbow. If you want to go down on your side, that's absolutely fine. Whichever you prefer. So we'll just do the first couple up on the elbow. Or if you want to make it even harder, straighten the bottom leg as well. So just starting off by lifting the hips up nice and high and lower for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Top leg up, keep the hips up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down. Hips up nice and high, top leg up, cycle forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and backwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. Resting all the way down for the next couple exercises. Top leg up, lift the bottom leg to touch, and lower down. Try to keep that bottom leg straight. Good, four, three, two, one. Lift the top leg. Good, try to keep the bottom leg lifted if you can. Three, two, one. Lower down. Top leg up as high as you can, toes pointing down, small pulses. Make sure the back isn't arching here. Four, three, two, one, lower down. Both legs up, big circle forward. If you need to rest the bottom leg down, that's okay. Or if you're finding it hard to balance, you could bring this arm up in front as well. Just a little bit harder when it's on your hip. Three, two, one, switch directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good lower down grabbing that ankle stretching out the quads letting go and then rolling onto your opposite side and we'll start off on the elbow just for the first couple if you're able so elbow under the shoulder make sure it's not coming out like this starting off by lifting the hips up and lower for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the hips up. Lift the top leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower down. You might be feeling the glute on the other side more activated than the one you're lifting <clears throat> just because we were working with all those other exercises and now we're using it to stabilize and lift ourselves up. So it might be a little more sore on the one that's facing the mat. Good. Lifting the hips up, top leg up, cycle forward for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cycle backwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the hips up. Nine, ten. Lower down, resting all the way down, top leg up, bottom leg to touch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep both legs up, lift that top leg. Good. 
Keeping the hips still here for three, two, and one. Lower down. Top leg up, toes pointing down, small pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower. Both legs up, top leg up a few inches, big circles in front, nearly there. We only have big circles forward and then big circles back, and then we'll stretch. Good for four, three, two, one, circle the opposite direction. Trying to keep those hips still. Make sure you're not rolling forward here. That's why it's helpful to have your hand on your hip. Good, only four left. Three, two, and one. Lower down. Grabbing that ankle, stretching out the quads, making sure you're not arching. So tucking your rib cage down towards your spine or your hips, <laughs> making sure not to arch your spine. And as well, try not to let the leg come out to the side. If it's coming out like this, you could have a tight IT band. So try to hug that knee in towards the other knee. And then straightening that leg. And then we'll come onto our backs and stretch out the legs. So we'll hug the right knee into the chest. Shoulders are relaxed. Pull that knee in nice and tight. And then we're, we already did a spinal twist earlier, so we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee, and then we'll stretch the glutes here. If you notice your knee is popping up quite a lot, you can push that down with your elbow. Just get a bit of a hip joint stretch as well. Or if this is uncomfortable, even just keep the legs down and just work on pushing that knee away just to get a little bit more mobility in your hip. Good, and then straighten out the right leg, hug the left knee in, in nice and tight, stretching out the hip. And then left ankle over the right knee, grabbing behind the right thigh, stretching out the glutes on the left. Left foot down, straightening up the right leg. Switching, grab behind the left. Make sure you keep that right knee bent. It just helps to take pressure off the low back. And then we'll come into sitting and just stretch out the upper traps. So we'll bring our right ear to the right shoulder grabbing with the right hand and pushing that left arm down towards the mat. Should feel this all along the side of the neck. And then switching left ear to the left shoulder, grabbing with the left hand, pushing that right arm down. And then back to the center and we'll finish with that. 